little blue eyes. Well, good morning. Welcome back to our final fabulous segment here on City Line. I've been chatting with somebody who I have just for the first time actually had on the comfy couch. And he works for an organization that is holds the mantle of creativity and teamwork and uh, go local. And I'm talking about the Grand Cinema. Please join me in welcoming for the first time on the comfy couch, Mr. Paul Richter. You are the Education Director for the Grand Cinema. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's really great to be here for the first time in person. And I want to know, who's been hiding you from me? <laughs> I mean, I get Philip, I get Ernest, I get all the great people you have, but this is your first time. It is. Well, I've only been working for the Grand for almost a year now. Okay. So the majority of that time, I think you were still uh, virtual. So. I was in my kitchen table. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is, I think, our third week back. So we, we got you right in there. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us, nothing says summer like film camp. That's right. And uh, so for people who don't know what film camp is, uh, what is it? And then we'll talk about who it's for. Sure. Film camp is a longstanding tradition now at the Grand Cinema. And it's a program where a group of young people come for one week at a time. We do multiple weeks throughout the summer, but each session is a week. And between Monday and Friday, they learn about filmmaking, explore styles and techniques of filmmaking. But also, between Monday and Friday, each group of kids creates a short film from scratch, from their own imagination. And on Friday night, we premiere it for friends and family to come see it on the big screen. Now, to hear that, if I would have heard that 10 years ago, we were talking about 10 years ago, uh, or in 2013, let's pick up that again. I would think, okay, so you've got uh, uh, grown-ups helping these kids write out something, and then you've got grown-ups who are with the old, but now today, that is not the case, is it? You have little digital natives running into the grand cinema who probably this is not their first film experience or they have lots of ideas. Did I get that right? You absolutely did. Yeah, so it is our goal to make all of the creative and filmmaking decisions in film camp come from the students. Right. With the adults just there to help guide them and give them advice. And sometimes if kids are like, we're going to do a car chase and an explosion, <laughs> then we help temper some of those. That would be me, not a kid, an yeah. adult. I'd say that. Well, and, yeah. you know, we can make something happen. Uh, it's just maybe not going to be what you expect. Right. Um, but we do have some kids who've made t dozens of movies who have so much experience. And then we have some who are just excited to learn and maybe haven't done anything. And it's all about connecting those different yeah. levels of experience. A little bit of Spike Lee, little Spike Lee's running around ma making movies. So who is this camp for? Break it down in terms of age for us. Absolutely. Most of our camps are from age 11 to 15 is real our, our target range. We have one camp coming up this summer that'll be age nine to 15. Um, but that's my, our real target age is that age group um, with the hope that eventually, as things continue, we'll be able to branch into much older and even younger age groups as well. I love that. So part of the lingo of television and film is, um, is B-rolls or things that, that we do. You actually have uh, students make real films, as we've talked about, and we've got a little film clip we're going to show here, shall we? All yeah, right. go right ahead. Oh, nice. This was a fantastic film about a time traveler who travels back to the Old West and brings two cowboys back to 2021 with him. Um, and they decide that they're going to rob 2021 for its technology and wealth. And so he has to he has to deal with it. This was a really fun one. And again, all of the ideas came from the kids oh. in the camp themselves. Um, that was a good close up sneer. And I oh, also yeah. want to point out the, the tinfoil hat which is an homage to one of my favorite movies. Um, oh, great, there it goes. You know, Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix. Signs. Signs, yeah, signs when they have on the hats. I love that. So um, we've got some uh, budding um, script writers and directors here. Yes. Um, and oh my goodness, look at this. And of course, we're talking about prop guns, aren't we? <laughs> of course we are, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, and a blow dryer. Yes. For the time travel. Mm -hmm. That was uh, from the film Time Dryer. Uh, which is one of our greats from last summer. It's really fun. It and many of the other films, in fact, I believe all of the films from last summer are available on the Grand's YouTube page. Uh, so 
please feel free to check them out. They're all a lot of fun to watch. I love this. And the mustache is just, it's the perfect touch here. And so when we think about this film, I'm looking at that lovely B-roll. And I'm thinking I'm looking at Wright Park. Where does the film camp take place? That was at Wright Park. Okay. Well spotted. Most of our film camps take place centered out of the Grand Cinema. Okay. So that's where we meet each day, where drop-off is, and then with adult supervision, we often take excursions to other places. But two of our film camps this year are going to be in other locations. Mm. We have one at People's Community Center in Hilltop. Okay. And then we also have a free camp. It'll be our second year in a row in the Salishan Housing Neighborhood on the east side, which is free to anyone age 9 to 15 who lives within the Salishan community. Oh, I love that. So you mentioned at the top of this that you have been with the Grand for almost a year, but I also know that you are a Grand Cinema junkie like I am uh, because we were talking about going digital and the popcorn and everything else. So what is your favorite part of film camp? To me, the best part of the week is the last hour to hour and a half of, of the week, which is when parents and family arrive. We get popcorn, we get soda. Um, the kids sit with their families, and then we watch the work that they've done throughout the week on the big screen. And seeing the sense of accomplishment and pride from something that was an idea a few days ago, sitting in a circle brainstorming to a finished product that the kids created all on their own is it's inspiring and it's really why I do what I do. I love that. Um, let's do some nitty gritty details because boy, you sure caught my ear when you said we have a free camp out at Salishan. But so let's talk about camp hours and prices and how do we register? Yeah, absolutely. So every day of camp is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Nice. With drop off starting at 8.50. Mm -hmm. um, and that's Monday through Friday, the weeks of camp. Prices are $325 or $300 if you're a Grand Cinema member, mm -hmm. but we do have options for scholarships for families oh. that need extra financial help. Good. And like you pointed out, we have one free camp that happens at the Salishan Family Neighborhood. Uh, it's my goal to one day be able to grow to having multiple free camps throughout all of the community. Yes. But uh, it's always my strategy to start with something small and grow a program. So Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and let's talk about... Um, the summer outdoor film series because I can imagine in these camps, and I know that you have people who help you with the film camps, there's a lot of repeat offenders, like we like to call them. But where they get their inspiration sometimes is in this outdoor film festival. And it's something that we love. So tell us about this year. Yeah, so this year we actually have seven outdoor film screenings scheduled throughout the summer from July to August. Last year we were able to do three, but we've more than doubled it this year. And we're going to be in some locations and communities we haven't reached out to before, including uh, northeast Tacoma, almost to Dash Point, which we, haven't, we don't usually reach out to. We'll be at Wright Park for Mosaic. Um, we'll be a part of Pride once again this year. We'll be at Salishan and APCC, so multiple locations. Um, and the best way to find information about that is to head to our website under the Coming Soon. You'll see a tab for outdoor films, mm -hmm. and you can find all the information. We haven't announced all of the film titles yet. We're sort of keeping those under wraps, but as we announce them, they'll be up on our website and our social media. Knowing the grand, you probably sent out a questionnaire like six months ago saying, if these were the titles, which one would you come see? Because the grand is so Tacoma-centric. I mean, that's what the grand does. That's why they sell memberships, because we want to be a member of that organization. So let's talk about, um, as I think about a camp and I think about children, I used to be an education director at a theater. Uh, let's talk about COVID and COVID precautions. How yes. are we going about that with all of those beautiful little people? Yes, so the safety of our film campers is our number one priority in all regards, especially as we are still living through a global pandemic. Yep. Um, at this time, we are following the same procedures that the Grand Cinema as a movie theater is, which means that masking is encouraged but not required. Our staff will be vaccinated, but we're not requiring vaccination from students. Okay. Um, however, as is the reality with everything nowadays, anything could change. So we will constantly be monitoring local and national sort of environments and regulations. And if things change, parents who've already signed up their students or who are interested will be notified right away. Um, and like I said, our number one priority is just keeping everyone in film camp safe. Absolutely. Okay, last question. What are you hoping that your students walk away with? 
the, my number one thing, not just with film camp, but kind of all around just as a person, is I want to encourage people to be lifelong art makers. And I think sometimes as adults, we don't have time or the motivation or think we have permission to make art. And what I want to instill on all film camp goers, as well as families who come, is you can and should make art for the process of doing it. The act of creating is in itself beautiful and I think uh, invaluable for human beings. Do you have film camp for adults? We not don't yet this summer, but we <laughs> will. Like I said, I'm starting with something small and hoping to grow it out. And it is a program that is currently in the works that sh I should be able to announce hopefully soon. Yeah. Well, I know that you know that when you have the two five three and um, which as a cult following, um, and I, I I've seen so many of my neighbors up on that screen um, that people Tacoma is a film town. We love films. Absolutely. And we certainly love the Grand. So I want to um, wish you a full camp or camps, healthy children, uh, lots of laughter, lots of creativity, and happy parents. Well, thank you very much. You're more than welcome. And thanks for being on the comfy couch. Of course. Thanks for inviting me. Please invite me back. You have an open invitation. All right. All right. Well, that wraps up another great segment of City Line. It is always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. We've given you some wonderful things to think about in this great city. So please get yourself vaccinated and then go out there, be a part of the tapestry and pay it forward. And when you come back, as always, we'll be waiting for you right here at City Line. Take care.